So you want to learn how to create this crazy random edits transition inside of After Effects? Then stick around because I'm about to break it down within five steps. But without further ado, let's get right into this tutorial. So we're in After Effects and I got this little take a clip right here. And this is basically my main scene. And right here, I want to have my transition. So what I'll do is cut my clip and then just drag my scene out just like this. So I have like one second of footage to work with. It can be whatever, it doesn't have to be like a specific scene. And then it can just come back to the normal video like right after. So now we've got the first scene and then here we'll, where we'll have this transition and then it will come right back into the music video. And now what I'll do is select this scene and add on a random edits effects from Sapphire. And this will basically just give us random scenes from this music video, uh, like every single frame. And up here you can change the frame length and I want to keep my frame length at 1 so it will change every single frame and it will look like this. So it just randomized footage as you can see. You could change it up to 2 if you like. See that's a little bit slower but I like the fast look so I'll keep it at 1 but it's completely up to you. And now we'll add on some effects to spice this up. First off I want to make this a little bit smoother. So what I'll do is add on an RSMB effect. And right off the jump you can see we get this extra motion blur so it looks a lot better. But we'll turn down the settings a little bit. So I'll go for a blur amount at 0.3. And then for the motion sensitivity we can go for like 50. Just like that. And I'll play through and see if it's enough. And it looks good but I want a little bit more of that motion blur so I'll turn up the motion sensitivity to 70 and we'll keep the blur amount at 0.3. Yeah that looks a lot better. So I'll stick with that and then I'll add on another effect. We can add on a warp effect and we'll change the warp style to fisheye. And this will give us this fisheye look and then we'll drag in the bend. We can start it off at like minus 20 right here and then I'll keyframe the bend and go all the way to the end of the video or at the end of the scene and drag it into like minus 100. Just bump it up to the max. So just like that, we get a little bit of that distortion. And now to spice this up a little bit more, I'll add on a curve effect and I'll create a basic S curve, drag down the shadows and bring up the highlights a little bit like this. And this should be good. And if you want to spice it up even more, you can add on a Sapphire Hotspot effect. And this isn't like, you don't need this to create the effects, but this is just how I like to spice this up. So I'll turn down the threshold to zero. And here at the end, I'll I'll have it keyframed all the way up to like 0.4, something like this. Or that's a little bit too dark. So I'll have it like at 0.3 at the end, just like that. So we can have it animate throughout the scene and then we can also add on and add grain just to pair it with the uh, sapphire hotspot because it just makes it look a lot better. So change your viewing mode to final output and then here at the end I'll keyframe my intensity at 1 and here at the beginning I'll have it drag down to 0 just like that. And I'll play it through now and see what it looks like. Yeah that's a pretty cool effect and I'll spice it up a little bit more by adding on a sapphire flicker effect. And that one I'll also have it keyframed as well. So I'll have it at 0 at the beginning. And then here at the end I'll have it dragged up to like 0.3. We don't really need to overdo it. So now if I play everything through this is what we got. And that's a cool effect. If you want to, you can add in a transition between the start and the end. And to do that I'll create a new adjustment layer. And to this adjustment layer I'll add on a transition and to do that I'll open up my VFX kit which is my new extension that I've been working on and at the time when I'm recording this this extension isn't actually out yet but it will drop late June so stay tuned. But basically this VFX kit got everything that you need inside of it. We're at 150 effects right now and it will probably be around that mark when we drop it. And we got shakes, roto effects, transitions. So if I open up like shakes you can see we got previews in here. So you can see what the effect looks like. And to add one of these effects on you just simply put your mouse over the preview and click it. And just like that we got a shake in here. And I'm really excited to have this drop very soon. Because I'm pretty sure that this will help a lot of you guys when you're editing your videos. But I added a shake right here like a kind of trippy shake. And for the start right here I'll add in a transition. So I'll open up the transitions tab and I'll use the quick bounce. So I'll add on the quick bounce part 1. And then I'll create a new adjustment layer and add on a, the quick bounce part 2. And just line it up with my scene just like that and I'll play through. So just like that I got a quick flash right here and then a shake when the effect kind of ends. And that's basically it. I'll have all of my presets and assets linked in the description for all of you guys who want to check them out. But if you watched this far, thank you so much. If you didn't, thank you anyway. And stay tuned because the VFX kit will drop really soon. But once again, thank you so much and I'll see you in the next one.